Давайте еще последний вопрос. И будем уже переходить к следующему докладу. Вопрос может быть немножко не по теме, но все-таки вот браузер – это же не только движок для рендеринга CSS и HTML, это еще же пользовательский интерфейс. И хотел бы спросить такой вопрос. Вот в Chrome, в Firefox есть расширение, и тот же Chrome, который недавно появился, активно в этом направлении работает, то есть это фактически там одна из основных фич, которые они стали реализовывать. Планируются ли какие-то шаги именно в опере вот в этом направлении? Вот, понятно, что стандартизировать это ну, очень сложно ввиду различных реализаций в браузерах. Вот именно в опере что-то планируется? So we actually have plans in, in several different areas for, for how do you make stuff extensible. You know, Opera has a whole lot of extensibility already. MyOpera.com was created as a place to share customizations and custom versions of Opera. Composer.opera.com is where you can go and build your own extended Opera and distribute it yourself. Uh, and people do. So that's sort of the, the simplest stuff. And that's It's very much skins and themes and new buttons and new menus. It has a bunch of limits in what you can do. Then we have uh, you know, the idea of widgets and Opera Unite. And these are things that could be easily standardized. Widgets are being standardized. And these are things that add functionality. The, uh, you know, they, they basically move away from the browser is the only user interface to... The browser is the engine, and the application has its own user interface. There's some thinking you need to do about how much of the interface should be specific to the application. Uh, but, but when you build widgets, you, know, you have the power to make all of the interface in your own application. You know, Gmail has an interface just as much as whatever browser you open it up in. And the coding behind that is interesting, but you can... You can build those interfaces. And then you get to you know, Firefox, Chromium-type extensions, and we are implementing those. Uh, we will implement something very like what Chrome does. The, the Firefox model relies you know, fairly heavily on Zool. There's no way we can put Zool onto a mobile phone. Uh, we have a technology for user interface on mobile phones, which is extensible already. Uh, I don't know what the plan is in terms of you know, how open that becomes, whether we give that away, whether it's you know, just something that we control and, and build user interfaces to make sure that they keep on working. And that's all about development plans and you know, your, your 10-year plan for this technology and whether you want it to go forking everywhere or whether you want it to be stable and solid. Um, But we will build extensions something like the way that Chrome does. Uh, people are you know, sitting down and writing code now. Uh, expect it to take a while. But you, know, you will see it. You're not going to die before this happens. Um, and you know, we're not even going to all be old and grey. Ну, с вопросом, пожалуй, все. Спасибо, Чарльзу. Спасибо. Uh, uh, <clears throat>